Indonesia. This is the battle of the Indonesian, so to speak. Yeah. So looking at the ba the picks first, we got a Ling Esmeralda as es Ling Esmeralda and the Selena on the side of Onik and on the side of Geek. Yeah. We got a Popolin Koopa thumbs and a Lancelot. This is a very aggressive uh, picks, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised that the Selena was third pick. I've been watching a lot of Indonesian uh, Mobile Legends action, and they have uh, put a lot of uh, stock onto picking up the Selena. And uh, I'm actually surprised that it's th pick third. But but it's probably only because Ling and Popolin Koopa is available, and we know that he kind of wanna. Uh, it's, it's almost a tug of war to say the least and look at the onik uh, indonesia now banning out both atlas and kufra the best i'd say the the top ones when it comes to being that tank slash setter for or for for team fights we usually see a lot um before when we used to see hylos and grok they they are different in a way that they set up team fights, but Kufra and Atlas, they're all they're the big tickets. They're the big guns of tanks and setters. They want to be the ones to catch multiple heroes. And I'm actually surprised that Onik themselves banned both of them. I mean, I would not be surprised if 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 either or is banned, but the two of them, man, it's it's weird for me to see. Yeah, it we're really gonna be leaning towards a. A relatively tankless lineup here for these guys because yeah uh grok is still viable don't get me wrong oh yep. the lock-in on the cho they okay if they're masha. yeah they're gonna be no doubt running masha as a tank here which is you no know, technically really speak, technically speaking masha was classified as a tank back then on the flip side, though, there is a lack of tanks as well. It is well, it is going to the Popo and uh, Koopa uh, playing as the tank here. But looking at the the draft, I'm yeah. kind of partial with Onik Indonesia's uh, pick out, uh, picks here. It's it's weird. Um, but if you if you look at the composition, heroes like Ling and Lancelot. And guess what? We are watching Ling going up against Lancelot. So who's gonna thrive here? So that's it's a big question. Yeah, that and, is uh, the yep. the biggest of all questions. I completely agree with you. Yeah. Well, we're okay. gonna be diving into the game. We're gonna see how aggressive the play is. As Masha is uh, pretty aggressive in the, the attempt to go for an invade, but will be relegating back as they are looking for Joker here. Joker tried to go for the seal. Anti-Mage on this Masha, low on HP, but high on DPS, and that managed to secure the kill. Wow, that's very good control of the of the Ling. And that's, uh, um, correct me if I'm wrong, he, he, this is, um, I am Jago from before, from the, the champion, the world champion, I mean, not world, but Southeast Asian champion, Arnik PH, and we, Arnik Indonesia, that we know, and Anti-Mage is still there. One of the best offlaners that will that the history of Southeast Asian Mobile Legends has ever seen. He invented that. Well, he did not invent it. He just he continuously did it, and I called him Mister Reset. So back when resetting your opponent's jungle matters most, um, he always did that, either with the Thams, with their. With the uh, Leomord as well as the Hellcurt in them. I'm happy to see him play again. But this time in a totally different uh, setup. It's it's a very aggressive Masha, I'd say, for my anti-mage this time. Yeah. And Masha is going to be going up against Thumbs. And more often than not, that's going to be Thumbs uh, yeah. winning the duel uh, as soon as they reach level 4. Top lane, though, is, there is a big presence here over the side of Geek Fam. They're going to be backing mm. off as Joker once again falls down by the hands of Sanjago. Sanjago. Yep. Abyssal Arrow now going to be connecting potentially onto I am Jago. Yeah. He, he, here's what's surprising. You can see two kills already, right? That's both on the Ling. The Ling is fairly, I'd say, richer than the Lancelot. who's 400 ahead. But overall, you can see that Geek Fam, they're leading a lot when it comes to 
EXP. It's two minutes and 30 seconds in. We're gonna see a lot of ultimates gonna come out now. It's gonna be the Valir to get out. Tempest of Blades committed, just to run away. But this taking down nice timing on the Lancelot. Now Selena is the next target. In comes the EXP advantage coming out from a Geek Fam as they're winning the team fight with just two minutes, even when they are down when it comes to gold a little bit. And look at their transition, man. They're taking the purple buff. Taking the purple buff, depriving Ling of any resources in the uh, in the earliest of all early games. Really, yeah, uh, something you're gonna be looking forward to as we transition on over to the mid game. Turtle is no priority for Geek Fam here to uh, get the turtle. Actually, the priority is leaning towards uh, Onic PH, but Geek Fam is gonna be starting the turtle. They they have the X Borg. They don't have the Masha, but they have X Borg. I'm not entirely sure if they can though, because there's es there's a threat of Esmeralda, there's the retribution available on the Ling. You also have the Mash on the side, so a lot of uh, ways for the side of uh, Monic Indonesia to actually uh, take that away from them. Maybe if they do get one kill or two, two kills, maybe then they can take the turtle. Yeah. Or what they're doing now is just to fend off the uh, Onic and then just take it. But Nomad, yeah. Yeah, mm. looking for it. There goes the Falling Star Moon. And the last insanity as well. Uh, Turtle is down to half HP. Razy Cena is about to go down. Gets immobilized by Popol and Koopa, but gonna be backing off. Sanjago is gonna be joining the fray. Turtle HP is gonna be reset here. Yeah. Nobody, look at this. Nobody is going to the turtle without any kills first. We always have to take note that both of the teams have legitimate contention against the turtle. They don't want to give your opponents a chance or an opening for yourself. Well, down the bottom lane, no man. It seems like the last insanity is yeah. going to be used. They pop the Esmeralda, burning him down. And it's going to be the Popol and Koopa to get the last hit. And really, this is uh, Geek Fam. Just getting uh, dominant control over this game. They're trying to prevent the spikes from coming in from from uh, Onik Indonesia wherein it's gonna be it's gonna have to be Ling by just getting the map pressure making sure that the jungle is theirs relatively speaking and zoning out uh, the opportunities for them to get the turtles and speaking of turtles it looks like there is going to be an attempt they're just uh, poised to make a counter yeah. attack here Middle, they want to take down this Ling, but Ling is already out. Masha staying up top against the Thams. This is going to be an ever long story for sure. It's Thams versus Masha, just making sure that nobody gets ahead when it comes to lane control. Now, the turtle is going to be started by Geek Fam. In comes the Cho, Tempest of Blaze. Oh, what a nice pushback coming out from the Searing Guard. In comes the last Insanity, burning down the Cho. What is next? They want to go for the Ling now. The Ling is going to be taking down double kill for the X Borg. Can they chase down for more? It seems like they aren't interested as they've already gotten good control of the map, taking the turret in the middle after getting that two down two man takedown. And this is foreseen an opportunity for them to start going for the turtle. They can completely zone out Esmeralda here because Esmeralda can go for the falling star moon, yes, but she will immediately be bursted out. And speaking of which, that is going to be the turtle secured off camp kill there over at the top lane. Epen making sure that he secures that kill. Yeah, it's a Thams with the help of the Popol and Koopa, they were able to get the kill onto the overextending Masha. And you know that if you're a Masha player, you are always tempted to go for those, um, for those cuts or those minion cuts, like what the uh, Epen on the Thams is doing now. But unfortunately, he did not take for account the fact that there could be reinforcement available for the Thams, and that's why he was taken out up top. There's the push that Epin, as well as Joker, have always wanted. Yeah, they're going in for the second uh, third push as well. Missile Arrow is going to take Sanjago, waiting for an opportunity to use the Tempest of Blaze. And Ooh. Tempest of Blaze is going to be committed. They may to take down the kill onto Joker. Epin is going to go uh, relatively safe there, but because Sanjago falls down by the hands of Lancelot. Epin will manage to survive there. Doyok wow. goes for the what? Thorn Rose. Not going to be enough to take down the Masha because of that sustain. And I am Jago is going to be left alone here over the top lane. No chances of him to survive this. Actually, the Flicker is going to be a force. The Jeet Kundo connects, and he's going to get taken out. Oh, well, the setup. The Jeet Kundo setting up for the arrow. With this a lot of patience coming up from Dry and Azawa. 
if I pronounce that correctly. Yeah, very nicely done there. A little bit of recovery. After killing down the Lancelot, that's really good for Salovonic Indonesia. Every death that this um, Lancelot suffers, it's a big dent in their, I'd say this, presence in the late game. Because mid-game, definitely it's Lancelot favored, but late game, that's when you ask, can he actually win against the Ling? That's a big question. Ling is, you know, doing relatively okay here, but the added value of Ling here against the Lancelot is that Ling can just maneuver all over the places without any problems, and Lancelot is just going to be relying on his dash and on the on this Thorn Rose for reposition. And even then, you can still pretty much uh, predict where Lancelot is going to be landing after the Thorn Rose. It looks like there was a kill on the turtle. It's going to be secured by Ling. Then Jago. Now onto the back, onto the bottom. They want to go. Last insanity going to be committed, but not going to reach two of the members of Onik Indonesia. Even the fire snakes will not be there. Pobble and Koopa actually jumps here. I don't wonder why they are chasing. It seems like they didn't have any chance at all, but they still tried. Want to go for a punishment? Esmeralda oversteps a little bit, receives so much damage and just backs down. Onto the middle, Nomad, it's the Turbo Masha moment. Yeah, it's the Turbo Masha. Masha is going to be able to take down the turret. Low on HP, but let's focus on Sanjago here for a bit. Thorn Rose, I mean, the Tempest of Blades is going to be used. The Thorn Rose is not going to be enough for him to escape. That's going to be Joker going down as well. It's just, uh, I am Jago. It gets the stun on the uh, Ramzu as well. Yeah. The Abyssal Arrow being on point here by Dre and Ozawa. So much on point in it. many of the fights that Onik Indonesia have won was because of this Anina setting up for good kills. Eight, uh, five out of the eight kills is part of, and they're trying to go for more, or maybe just for zone out as they just want to push up top with this Masha and quickly doing so, no, knowing that Masha is one of the strongest heroes in taking down turrets. Masha has been doing a good job with that. Uh, able to take down the top lane turret, mid lane turret as well, despite being contested by Epen. You really have to make sure that you control Masha's positioning because she can... Even if you manage to make her fall back Lord, with quotation marks, she'll just be able to regenerate that in a snap of a finger. With her lifesteal as well, she'll be able to come back into the lane and make sure that she dishes out a lot of damage onto the turret. Looks like there will be a little bit of preparation around the purple buff area. Yeah, it's like a four-man presence here, actually. Yeah, four-man presence. Five-man presence. By wow. A, uh, geek fam. In the Masha, this very sneaky anti mage. He knows that he can actually contest the lore, but not overstay there. As he's quite threatened of some backstabs, especially from this ex Borg as well as the Masha. It's going to be. Another calm before the storm, another peace and quiet for both teams. And honestly, Nomad, it's, the, the gold is not that massive when it comes to the deficits. It's actually pretty even at this point. Relatively even. And the cores are relatively doing a good job here. They are even in terms of gold. The Falling Star Moon, though, is going to be landing, but not going to be uh, finding any joy there. <laughs> Sanjago takes down Joker. Epen's going to be forced to... Uh, continue the fight here against Button. and he is going to be forced back off here as Epen drops down to 10% of HP. The Abyssal Arrow, uh, Arrow almost connects. They're going to be backing off. This is going to be a fairly okay Lord take for Onyx PH to take, but they'd rather just shove out the lanes and make sure that yeah. the lead is still secured. Backline, Jago the Ling goes for I am Jago. So it's... Uh, it's the Jagos. I don't know what that means, and hopefully we get, we get to be enlightened by all of our viewers out there. This actually prompts the stop onto taking the Lord coming out from Onik Indonesia. And as I say this, uh, Rasi Ch Shena, our our Cho just scouting out the, the orange buff, but with the help of Epen as well as Joker, Lancelot gets that orange buff. Now onto the bottom, there's a Big push coming out from Butts. This uh, Esmeralda. This is going to be scary. I think that this should be answered. Two cannons. A couple of minions out there. 
Esmeralda is gonna just back down. Oh no, man, there seems like there will be a fight alert around the Lord area. There is going to be a fight. They need to make sure that they dive in immediately now because Anti Mage can pretty much secure this Lord on their own. And they're on, on uh, Indonesia, they're doing a good job here. Last Insanity just to secure the Lord. The Lord is gonna be stolen Whoa. by Geek Fam. And they might just be paying the price for that because Doyok is gonna go down by the hands of Rage Cena. I am Jago getting chased down here by Anti Mage with the Thunderclap. And he gets taken out. Ramzu is going to go down as well. It's just going to be Epen left alive. Is that even worth it, Wolf? That was a 4 for 1 trade with it's the Lord on the, in the favor of Geek Fam. I, that, that's definitely not. I mean, they were able to get the Lord, but this is an easy clear. Easy wave clear coming out from Onyx Indonesia. And they also have the superior uh, push coming out from the lane as well as. Obviously, the mash are very, very fast when it comes to taking down turrets. And up top, there was already the inhibitor down. Now, on like Indonesia, just uh, getting the spoils of war, getting all those purple buffs. Looks like Esmeralda is going to be a little bit in a pickle, but he's, he's an Esmeralda. He can get away so safely. No. Yeah, All right. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Oh. I had to uh, fix something real quick. Okay, I'm sorry about that too. <laughs> on to the bottom, you can see now that now that it's uh, butts on this Esmeralda just pushing the minion wave, making sure that they take out those big minions. And it's not like they are chasing. Oh, Razy Cena though. Ooh. Getting caught. Will manage to escape that pushback. Yeah. I helped him. Yep. Searing tar now onto the bottom. We can see the Esmeralda, just like you said earlier, just pushing. You know, seems like with the thumbs, it seems like with the thumbs presence going back and just to de defending that, will be sh that should be enough you know, to defend the, against Esmeralda. Esmeralda yeah. just doing side laner things. Yeah, speaking of side laner things, Epen being contested here by Sons Jago from pushing forward, even. Yeah, big rotation from Geek Fam. Uh, going to be disengaging instead. Blade of Despair finally in the hands of Santiago. Yep. It's gonna be... How do I say this? It's gonna be calm now. Calmer now. Then again, that inhibitor really stopped Geek Fam from uh, getting comfortable in this map. And the fact that they're catching arrows left and right coming out from this Selena, that's also equally scary. Because it's already hard for them to get out of their base and get the farm. It's way harder because there's a potential Selena arrow that can stun you and the cavalry can easily oh, be there. Ling, oh, look at this. Yeah. Uh, stolen it. Stole there it the is. Buff, gets a kill onto Joker. Ooh. Tempest of Base used offensively, but that's going to be the attention being deterred here because Ooh. the top lane is where anti-mage is going in for the push thunderclap is available Connect, commits it onto doyok gets the kill onto doyok and he has to back off here and he does get taken out meanwhile the rest of Onic, uh indonesia they're looking for a way to fight back here as Razy cena and sanjago are low on hp both getting caught what? by the last insanity that was perfectly oh, timed man. all things considered Man, that was a lot of mistake coming out from Onik Indonesia. Obviously, they want to have that value kill. This is what we get when you you kind of sacrifice yourself. You you kill your opponents, but you also sacrifice yourself. When you are an off laner, for example, when you're a side laner, and you take down the opposing hyper carry with you. That's okay. But then again, Onik Indonesia felt overconfident with that kill on the Lancelot. That was good already. Masha for a Lancelot. Come on, that's good. That's perfect. But because of that, they kind of get... They went ahead of themselves and just dove against their opponents. And that's why the three-man takedown did not favor them. I was surprised, however, that no Lord Punish will be there for Geek Fam. There could be a clash, you Nomad. Know, yeah, the Falling Sarmon connects onto four. Last Insanity is going to be connecting onto three. I am Jago is going to go down, though. And that's going to be Butts paying the price for that dive. Doyok will be able to secure that kill. It is a complete disengage. A one for one trade, but Masha is just eyeing out this orange buff to try to deprive Doyok there. They're on for the uh, 
Aggression and oh. the Abyssal Arrow is going to connect, but a bit too late because Anti Mage is still going to pay the price for that. Oh man. And all of a sudden, Geek Fam, they're getting uh, access to the Lord so easily. This is a two versus four situation that definitely will not be in favor of the Onic Indonesia side. They still have the Ling, they still have Retribution, they can use that Ip in. Well, Falling very low, that's the last of down. The X Wing oh. and the leg was able to take on the Lord. And what a nice still coming out from Onik Indonesia. I mean, man, erase what I've just said. Onik Indonesia with on the back of San Jago. Man, this Ling is world class. World class indeed. And San Jago just doing his best and winning this fight against. Uh against Geek Fam and that is going to be it. This has to be the game. Epen though is doing a good job trying to defend this but the Falling Star Moon is going to be more than enough to uh, slow him down, secure the kill and that's the game being secured as well. Oh wow. <laughs> that that was, uh, how do I say this? It quickly, like a, like a flick of the switch.